so welcome today we are going to learn about uh, bootstrap navigation so we have a bootstrap uh, namely folder this will be our, our workplace open sublime now open this as a project under sublime um, also you can open the chrome or any other browser first of all let us download the bootstrap so go to getbootstrap.com the current version is 4.1 we will use to download the unified version click download and let us save us under the bootstrap folder we also need jQuery so you can find it under jQuery.com downloads so this is that minified version of jQuery select all copy this one and make a new file control n then save it under that bootstrap folder and name it as jquery.js uh, js for javascript okay now extract this So you get these two folders CSS and JS. There are some more files, but we just only need um, this one bootstrap.min.css. Copy this one, paste it here. Also, copy bootstrap.min.js. Copy this one, paste it here. So, create a new folder, name it as includes. move these three files into there and you can also move all the, all of this actually you don't need uh, these three files or folders but uh, it's okay so as you can see it's loaded here now under bootstrap folder let us create a new file Control press Control Shift S so that it will save on that folder. Name it as index dot html. Now uh, actually I didn't save the jQuery dot there so copy it again and save this okay now i have saved it it's here so again uh, let me brief you we have this includes for a uh, bootstrap folder which is our root directory under this we have an html file and an includes folder which have our bootstrap css Bootstrap JS and jQuery. That's fine. Okay, now we have opened the index.html file. Make the basic structure. Give it a title uh, Bootstrap Navigation Link those Bootstrap which are under includes slash the file name bootstrap dot mean dot css for the css file and we also need to link this js bootstrap js and jQuery js 
so for scripts javascript we add them at the end of a, a, an html document so at since bootstrap javascript that is bootstrap js uses jquery so we need to load jquery first so under the sources includes slash jquery dot js and copy this one control c pressing control c control v we have, uh, now we will add bootstrap js that is bootstrap dot min dot js okay now just uh, to check whether everything is okay let us create a div give it a class container close that div and also we have a class bootstrap class named jumbotron here we will use that text h1 heading welcome to bootstrap navigation tutorial <coughs> okay now open this so it's fine if you, if you press ctrl u or view page source here you can see that our jquery is loaded also bootstrap javascript is loaded and the bootstrap css is here these are the minified version the original version you can get it here if you want to get the original source file you can download it from here so we have used the minified version uh, to reduce the size let me quickly discuss this you can see that bootstrap.css uh, is about 170 kilobyte whereas the bootstrap.min.css is 138 kilobyte so we are using the minified version apart from that both the files are same okay now we are going to create the navigation first of all we are we are going to use the nav tag which is for navigation under the nav tag we will have a div under this we will use an unordered list <coughs> so now in this nav element or nav tag let us add the a class navbar it is the bootstrap class also navbar expand md this is for medium devices and we will use the uh, dark theme that is navbar dark and background dark now let us use a uh, some let us use some navigation items that is list item give this list unordered list a class name nav bar nav and also mr auto if you work with this continuously you will be used to it now under each li we will have a link that is a tab a navigation item uh, for example we should have a home about contact so what do you do we will use a link obviously anchor type let us have the reference for now i'm using hash for nothing under we have a text home now add the class nav link that is 
this link is under navigation and also each item have a class called nav item have a class name nav item now uh, if uh, if we save it and refresh it here you can see we have got a nice navigation you can use as much as link similar to this just copy and paste and change the text this is home about contact something like this refresh here you go so in bootstrap navbar we have we can use a logo here or the name of this app or website uh, for example this is bootstrap demo we can use so create a link this is also hash and we will use it as bootstrap nav or navigation now we should use a class so actually this is the app name or the site name that is the brand name so it has a class that is navbar brand so save it refresh it so there it is now So uh, that's it. Also, uh, since Bootstrap is responsive, that is, uh, it is it is compatible for mobile devices also. Let us see uh, what it will do if we resize the window. You can see that it breaks here. That's not the best case. So we should solve it. How? Let us see. Since this is our main navigation, let us give this a uh, class as collapse. This is also Bootstrap class and navbar collapse. And also give it a ID as nav bar since this is our main navigation bar sorry so we will use a button you will understand after a point we will use a button tag and under this button tag we will use some icon. We will use a span tag. Give it a class name. Nav bar. Tubular. It's tubular icon. Which is toggle according to the um, screen screen size. So. And let us add some attribute first of all type this is a button type then add some classes first one is map bar toggle that is we will use this button to toggle the navigation bar and here we will use an extra attribute named data toggle which will have the value collapse and another data 
named data target which will have the value hash navbar now what it will do it will go for the id navbar which is here so if the screen size is reduces to medium device as you mentioned here then it will uh, create a button according to this icon mentioned here and if we click this button we may have our navigation items so let us see save it refresh this page all are still same now let us inspect this element now now when we resize our page look a button is created and if you click this button the top bar will expand and show us the navigation items see and again click this it will close so this clicking function activating by uh, both jquery and bootstrap to be specific bootstrap.min.js as we included here it is doing the main thing but with the help of jquery so this is our bootstrap navigation tutorial similarly you can do uh, more things just uh, go to to find more things about navigation or navbar go to getbootstrap.com and here you will find all the documentation about table figures Yeah, there are under components you will get navs and navbar just follow this and you will have many uh, varieties of navigation such as this one this one this one just use whatever you want so that's it you soon.